Hi, I'm Lisa from Vagabond and I'd like to talk to you today about kayak maintenance. Plastic kayaks do not need much maintenance, but a little bit of care goes a long way to ensuring the longevity of your kayak. I like to start with components that are all the same. I'm going to start with the multi-fits. Okay. I first check to see if any of the multi-fits are loose. And if they are, then I give them a tighten using an Allen key. And I'm working my way down the boat. The other fittings that also use an Allen key for adjustment are the clip rings, handles, fittings for the water bottle holder bungee and also for the paddle rest. To check this cup of venturis, I like to tilt my kayak onto its side so that I can feel on the top and underneath the bottom of the hull. I check each of the units and see if any of them are loose and if they are, use a screwdriver to tighten the screw. There are a number of components to check on the footdress system. I start with the rails, making sure that there isn't any sand and grit inside it. So using an old toothbrush, a paintbrush or a cloth, just loosen the sand, any dust that's inside. And the reason for this is that we want the footdress to always be able to slide evenly. And you can blow it out. The adjustment mechanism for the footrest is a spring-loaded pin on a slider. To keep the spring always working optimally, you can use a silicon or wax-based lube, put it onto the pin, work it in. The last component to check on the footrest system are the nuts and bolts on the slider. The footrest shouldn't be loose and they shouldn't wobble. If they are, then using a spanner, just tighten the nuts. Now they're fast. The important thing with the hatch is to make sure that the threads are kept clean. So check this regularly. It's really easy for sand, grit to get stuck inside the threads and around the hatch. Alright, so not only on the inside, but also actually around the lid. A damp cloth works well. If you've got a lot of sand, especially if you've been to a, like out on the beach, is you can use your toothbrush just to brush off the dry sand before giving it a wipe with it, using a cloth. To maintain the seal of your hatch, check around this black seal that you can see. It shouldn't be dry and to lubricate it, petroleum jelly works really well. Take a bit and then just using your finger is work your way around the seal covering it completely just with a light layer. That's perfect. And once you're done, your hatch is maintained. <laughs> 